Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to another reaction and another video. And today we're going to be continuing with the, the Weapon Stereotype series by Soundsmith. And today episode 9, The Sniper. Guys, we are almost at the end of this chapter of the stereotypes made by Soundsmith. So if you guys can give a like, subscribe and give a comment already, that would be great. And also remember to go to Soundsmith to give a like for his creation because... He he really puts a lot of work in these videos and uh, on these um, stereotypes. There is no other word to it. So guys, remember, I hope you guys are safe and doing good. And let's go to the video. But, 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 but before that, thank you so much. We're almost at uh, 700 subscribers. That is amazing. I hope you guys can stay for much longer. Let's go to the video. I hope you guys can stay till the end so we can talk a little bit. Let's go. The Sniper everyone's least favorite Australian Outbacker. I mean, when there's a good sniper on the other team, it can be one of the most infuriating things to die from, just across the map over and over and over again. But on the other hand, if you have a couple of bad snipers on your team, you're basically down a couple players because they can somehow manage to repeatedly miss the other team standing at point blank range yeah, snipers, they are either a free kill or a very big annoyance. Other class, not all snipers are created equal. And a lot of what determines a good sniper from a bad one comes with the different weapons that they use. Now, I... 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 I gotta do the whole disclaimer thing again. Uh, you, you know what? You know the drill. Stereotypes don't mean everyone, blah, 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 disclaimer, blah, 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 satire, blah, 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 parody. You get the idea. Right? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes. let's go. Let's go. I have a strange this one. This is another one of those stock weapons that is so widely used that it becomes difficult to pin someone down just because they use it. But interestingly, I have noticed that the stock sniper rifle has the biggest variance in terms of its alternate versions. And hmm. no, I'm not talking about the op, I'll get into that one later, but I mean like the ones that are still the stock sniper just with stuff added on. So for example, bot killer sniper rifles seem to attract anger snipers. I'm not really sure why. They're not overly sure edgy, about that? while they do look cool, there's no reason for it to be as widespread as it is. These are the ones that tend to be renamed really over overused edgy and immature things like aimbot.exe, a Lenny face, a point and click adventure game, a racial slur. Sniper is one of those Australian classes that I always wanted to get into, but I never could work that well because that I'm not that good at sniper. They want everyone to think they're smart. Festive snipers, the original limited ones, not the skin festive ones. Uh, festive snipers are the ones that you should actually watch out for. These guys are almost always really good. Their rifles aren't usually renamed, and if they are, it's probably an inside joke with their friends or it's named after their boyfriend or girlfriend. Despite all of these, if you see a stock sniper, just be observant. You should be able to tell pretty quickly how good they are and how you should approach them. Oh, that was a good shot. I have one. This is by far the biggest war pig in this series that I've covered so far, and at the same time, it seems kind of unfair. There's a ton of reasons you might want to use this. You might be a CSGO player, you might think the model looks better, you might just think it sounds cool, whatever. Yeah, it but sounds. at the same time, it's very rare to encounter an op sniper that doesn't think he's hot shit. Yeah. This sniper can't actually aim headshots, so he just uses this as a crutch and a tool to make people mad. Weirdly enough, I've noticed that this stereotype has kind of fallen off in recent years, and there hasn't really been anything. I think it, this the sniper had the a pseudo explosive headshot mechanic, giving it more of a support yeah. role, or because this thing has taken its place as the body shotting machine, which we're gonna get. Into oh, later. the machine! Uh, I love that weapon. Snipers, it's the only way that I can hit anything on with the sniper. The hat, or they're just running the full piss loadout. Either way, they're set out to tell you, so be aware. Oof. Or a sniper. These guys are the swagman swatter snipers of the weapon stereotype series. Nobody thinks much of them until they start demolishing the entire server without mercy and without. To be honest, I think I never see a never peek any this sniper on, on a very good there, game. Hiding a sniper dot perfectly and will instantly headshot you the second you show your face. He's like an aimbotter if an aimbotter was actually smart and had good game sense and positioning. Ah. Three words. Fully charged body shots. <laughs> body shot yeah, that's me. Word, that's this me. This guy has no that's qualms me. with giving up the flashiness of a headshot to secure a kill, and will do it regularly, to the point where people get more salty about body shots from these than they do with body shots from the Sydney Sleeper, which is... Yeah, the but the Sydney Sleeper that. don't because actually kill you in one hit, really I believe. Corridors ...like Dust Bowl or Turbine, trying to get those sick collateral kills for their montage. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a war pig, but if you see a Machina sniper, there's a good chance he thinks he's really good at the game. Also, I'd be hard-pressed to skip over the ever-present body shotting Machina Danger Shield Gibbous Vision 2 Fort Sniper. This guy doesn't oh. even know what game he's playing, but is still <laughs> Pablo Gonzalez 2007? He'd probably taunt, but I don't think he knows what button to press. 
This isn't as big of a war pig as the opera hand, but it's still pretty significant. I mean, it makes sense. This weapon rewards you for hitting headshots and it punishes you for missing them. So if you use I this, never use it. I never see people using this anymore. To hit them. Now, I haven't seen this stereotype myself to the same extent that I've seen others. Maybe that's just because of my limited experience with the class, or maybe that's because Also, I never seen this weapon on MVM. Tweets or whatever are all organized and feeding me misinformation to mess with me. I don't know. Most heat maker snipers that I see are just kind of Mediocre. Also worth noting that these guys seem to get tilted very easily. Mark really? Learning them a few times will almost always cause them to switch off to pyro or something. Which, by the way, isn't going to help you all that much for very long. The classic. This guy is almost certainly memeing. I mean, you really can't even pull the. I agree. Every time that I see a classic, they're, they're just memeing. Of the time, these guys can't even figure out how to fire it, and they just switch back to whatever rifle they were using after one life. Like, yeah, it's that bad. So if you see a classic sniper, he's probably just dicking around with his friends trying to get 360 no scope headshot YY fakey ladder stall kills and other dumb shit. I don't know, dude. Ooh, that was a good hit. If I had to describe the Huntsman with one simple Bill Ward reference, it would be... Wow, that worked? <laughs> I mean, seriously, the Huntsman yeah, it works. is the poster child for unintentional bullshit. Most of the kills you get with this are going to be the result of either random spam or just corner peeking. Like, lots and lots and lots and lots of... Definitely. Corner. And I'll be the first to admit, there is definitely some skill involved with this weapon. Plus, snipers who use this tend to be way more aggressive than your typical stock snipers, which I appreciate yeah. considering I really dislike fighting... Because with, with only one like click without having to contact, zoom in, you can honest, make a... Uh, an, an, an auto kill and headshot. That is very impressive and just uh, allows you to YOLO your way into some situations. People who use this are what I like to call the Josie Zugarski 2005s. Commonly seen in payload mm. upward and CTF 2 fox servers, these guys are the snipers that have just came off their favorite Minecraft roleplaying server and found TF2 in the Steam's free to play section. Minecraft they roleplaying server? Their nine year old Call of Duty experience. Oh, and yeah, nice. No, the SMG is a super strong gun that will force any player in close to mid range. I hate to break it to you guys, this isn't Call of Duty infinite warfare this is tf2 you can tell these guys apart by a few things firstly you'll notice that they have 2000 and something at the end of their name most commonly 2004 for whatever reason and that is also accompanied by the silver casual badge or soldier and they're quite ghostly gibbous no one ever uses that, I believe. This guy is almost certainly running the Bushwhacker. And there's also a very good chance that he's running the Huntsman, but the Bushwhacker is almost a guaranteed. That's Wait, a that's a full sniper team honestly, against a tank? It's very effective in one specific situation. Tank shredding. You'd be surprised wow. how this works with your swing speed max. Wow. Anyway, outside of MVM, the one thing that you can assume for sure about this guy is that at some point, he's going to run at you with his melee out, and he's probably going to fail miserably. Jesus. This is generally seen as the best support secondary for Sniper, but more often than not, snipers that run Jurati will be really selfish with it. Like, Oof. there's a pretty good chance that they only equipped it because there's a Scorch Shot Pyro on the other team harassing them, and if that isn't the case, they're probably using the Jurati Bushwhacker combo from Hell, which I'm gonna get into later. All that said, on the rare occasion that you run into a Jurati Sniper that actually uses it to help his teammates... Nice one, Sounds well, you saved the really demo. Nice change of pace. This guy is sick of spies, but can't be bothered to actually use his ears. It's considered meta in a lot of competitive leagues, or it was at some point, but it's not as hard of a counter to spy as some people think it is. This is because most Razorback snipers think they're completely I think it's been months spies, since I got uh, an achievement in TF2. That, you know, a long, long a time ago. He, he can shoot people with it. But of course, these guys just ignore that and stay permascoped until they get shot. And this opens <laughs> up a whole bunch of ways to oh, mess with God. them, which is always fun. Okay, stop the video. I am Snow, and I hereby take over this video to talk to you about the Darren's Danger Shield. This is not a joke, so listen up. Using the Darren's Danger Shield is bad, and you simply make a fool out of yourself by showing the world you are a coward and a terrible sniper. What's worse, it lacks any form of respect for the enemies. If you see someone using the Darren's Danger Shield, do not take this lightly. Kill them quick, taunt, shit talk them, and call the cops. The safety of our people is in your hands. That's a sniper. That's a sniper talking you, about what to do. Guru of the audio. You say one thing good about the Darwins. You play one game with the Darwins. You upload one clip with the Darwins. I think this was during the old time when the Darwin you. gave you 150 health, if I'm not mistaken. You think this so, is yeah, of course, uh, the snipers would get Why mad about that with uh, that weapon. Yourself. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> I like to use the the this isn't camper. I like good it. As it used to be, but it's still used by those who really like to stay at one end of the map and permascope down a sightline. 
Once you get body shot by them once, just avoid that one specific sight line for the rest of the game because chances are they'll be there the entire time. The flinching immunity only happens when their rifle is fully charged up, so they tend to get tunnel vision very easily because they don't want to lose that immunity, which again means that it's pretty Ooh, fun to poor heavy. There's nothing really special about this weapon, honestly. You'd be better off looking at what type of reskin they have to get an idea of what you're dealing with. That said, it would be a crime to move on without talking about this thing. Oh, nice. Oh, you it's almost ridiculous. saved the, the spy. Uh, that's it. I this There was a time I really liked to use backs, that one. Because these guys can't stand spies, and they want a means of tracking them down while still having backstab immunity. They also <laughs> love to tell you how the 33 damage hit. Oh, it's so good to see a spy dying from bleeding. 65, so it technically does more damage than stock. Like, seriously, if I had a refined metal for every time a tribalman's shiv sniper berated me for using stock and then telling me about how theirs does more damage, I'd be able to buy... I don't know. I'd be able to buy something ridiculous. The point is, they never shut up about it. I never the see Shana anyone Shana. using that. The Shansha? The Shanasha? The Shansha? Okay, the okay, Shansha? Cool. The Shansha is one of Shansha. those weapons that seems like it could be really cool on paper. And granted, in certain situations it is. In fact, it can be pretty ridiculous. But that said, most of the time it isn't. Like, if you get down to that low health and you're within melee range, you're probably dead anyway. Yeah. And an 81 if it was on the other way around, that would be damage, very good. It's not going to change all that much. I mean, really, you still two-shot light classes and you three-shot demos and pyros still. I guess you two-shot medics now and can three-shot soldiers, so that's okay. But if you let either of those classes get that close to you, you probably deserve to die. There is no way of winning against a rocket launcher soldier in close range like that. There is no way to win against a crit team medic like that. Every opportunity so that they can prove to themselves that it's good, and that usually puts them at a disadvantage. Oof, the crit. Hey you. Yeah, yeah, you. Are headshots too hard? Do you hate the fact that the dedicated long range class is weak at uh, close range? Do you need a get out of jail free card for when someone tries to exploit that weakness? Well, boy, howdy, do I have a weapon for you? I just oh, yeah, the boy, famous howdy, combo. Kill me now. Seriously, though, the bushwhacker is almost exclusively used with the Jurati, or sometimes the carbine if they're memeing, but it's generally used Look by at that health that can't kill got. someone before they get too close, and they also can't hit anything at close range. So instead, they'll just run this. Oh, my God. So Everyone's trying to kill sounds mate, isn't it? So that they can Does, have aren't they? Down on their Jurati, and they will always, always, always use the Schadenfreude after getting a kill with it. Everyone who doesn't use it well, can't stand are, the people who do use it. And everyone are those actually people or those bots? defensive about using it and will fight tooth and nail trying to justify it. So overall, it's it's just... I think those are man. bots, maybe. Yeah, those are bots. Combo, Once you get Jurati, the sniper who threw it will relentlessly focus you and get extreme tunnel vision trying to kill you. This means that you can bait them very easily, leading to some funny situations. And yeah. that's it. That's, really? that's all the sniper weapons. Same deal as always. We're going to finish up the series with Spy next time, so let me know if you have any suggestions. And that's it. It's, it, it's over. You, you can go now. Bye, Sam Smith. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, just one more episode to finish this season of the stereotypes. So guys, what do you guys think about Sniper and his weapon stereotypes? The one that I usually use is the Huntsman. Because when it comes to Sniper, I'm not that good at hitting headshots. Usually I go for body shots when I can hit him. But I really like the Huntsman, it's just so cool and, and it's just such a gameplay full of dopamine. When you could just run around shooting arrows at all the enemies and basically instant killing them if you hit a, a random headshot. That was of course totally planned. And also, I usually usually t tend to use the backpack that gives you health and the. Uh... Oh, it's been so long that I actually played the melee with my sniper that I don't remember. I think I used the the frying pan or the ham. Yeah, the, I think it's the ham. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming to this to this video and stay until the end. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys are safe and I hope if you guys can to help the channel, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell to never miss a video again. And also leave a comment down below suggesting a new reaction since uh, we're almost at the end of Weapon Stereotypes and uh, since we just finished with the Little Putty story for what was released so far, we might need a new, a new reactions to watch. So I hope you guys can give some ideas and I'll be sure to see you guys on the next video, okay? 
I hope you guys are safe and you're doing well. Bye! Thank you.